Welcome guys to my channel. We're talking about the latest things that are happening in the crypto space. The CEO of Tentennial Blockchain has just been sued. And then you have stops like 92% of blockchain projects in the past few years have failed. 92% of blockchain projects has failed. Are you listening to that statistics? 92% of blockchain projects have failed. And then you have Vision uh, Partnership. You have the bug with Ethereum. And then you have uh, what the professor Edmund Gunsiri is saying. And what's happening with OneCoin, uh, with Bitong, and then the Definity stuff. Let's start with the arrest of um sorry the, the accusation against Michael Stellar. if you look at the Tantanio project one of the first thing where along the line i'm also learning because i cover the Tantanio project the Tantanio project after the icu there was this claim that someone an insider actually took the coins and stole did some kind of uh, some flaws and all that that made Tantanio to fork the blockchain and now there's another stuff going on that there are claims that those um, titanium have connection with paper and disney and they are charging them for fraud these ico people know and that is why it's becoming very very hard these days to actually invest because most times you see we have partnership with xyz do there is no proof of the partnership there is nothing like a platform tweeting if a platform let them tweet about it let this company tweet. so if you are saying i have partnership with company a let company a tweet about it also then we'll know that this partnership is actually solid so that is our those are things we actually have to learn along the journey so that people are not just coming to say we have partnership with this please let us know that and then 92 percent of blockchain projects have already failed. The average lifespan is 1.2. How many projects have failed? That was the research that was done in an academy in China. 92% of blockchain projects has failed. Even as you look at uh, the uh, cryptocurrency market, you have currently you have 1,899 different projects. Let's go to CoinGecko. CoinGecko gives an overview of all the uh, crypto projects. So you have 1,899 projects and there is a possibility that before the end of the year, you're going to have something like 5,000 different projects. If in the past eight years, 92% has failed, there is the possibility that in the next few years, you're going to have over 90% or 99% of projects uh, failing. And then it calls for questioning you have to think rethink your investment you have to there yeah, it's time for you to start saying off some coins it's time for you to start going after the real project because many of these projects that i just had they have no roots they have no substance look at that and then moving on we have the partnership of veg that veg is actually going uh, after some partnership they partner with uh, my fit and stuff and uh, many things are actually in store for that uh, partnership and it's a very very uh, good one and then there are rumors of uh, vision having a mega uh, deal with an automobile partner that is coming after the stuff and many people are actually saying a lot of things like on their reddit and then we have eus Three days uh, uh, before the launch, EOS is actually raising the bounty to 50,000 or 100,000. They're saying, okay, they're saying they should increase. Okay, some of these proposals that they should actually increase it. And someone was tweeting and said, how can EOS, whose value, uh, uh, mo the money they are raising, I think it's going up to, is it $4 billion, put bounty for $10,000? So the question is, <laughs> what, what is the incentive? Why not hack the system and make something like millions? There is no, there is no proper incentive. So you see, most times 
the reason why um it's it's something that um we have to really consider like if someone is doing something what is the is the right incentive in place because this is four billion dollars project so to give ten thousand dollars as a bounty, I think is I'm not saying it's small, but I think they should increase it. Even when we are talking about Binance, there was a time they brought is it one million dollars bounty program for that. I said, Come on, think of it. And now you have uh Edmund Gusera, one of the uh, professors at Cornell University. I, I follow him on Twitter. He said something, he always first, did you get any help from an expert on consensus protocols? You know not to rule your own crypto. Why are you ruling your own consensus uh, uh protocol? This is like this is like not inventing your own scalper, then going and head with brain surgery. And I actually like uh, this professor because he comes and he tweets a lot of stuff that are very, very um, good. So, Chinese international uh, security giant Terrorist has found a series of epic vulnerabilities in the US platform. Some of the bugs allow arbitrary code to be executed remotely on US nodes even taking full control of the nodes. Come on! That would be disastrous. According to their uh, Weibo Chinese Twitter, Terrorist reports reported that they bug to the US team, uh, they bug to the US team. The person in charge of the US network said that the US network will not be officially launched until these issues are fixed. Attacker can deploy smart contracts with malicious node to US super node, which will execute the contract and trigger a security bug once the contract is included in a new bug all full nodes including the backup nodes exchanges wallet nodes are all susceptible to attack so you're talking about a four billion dollar project four billion dollar project come on that, that 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 is not to be accepted it's time to start holding this platform responsible for being what's going back this is called this is called a mission critical these are you're, you're trying to build you're raising four billion dollars for crying out loud to build mission critical applications and you cannot build systems for one year i don't even know the connection between this platform if they hire them And that is why platforms like Setic have to come into place. That is why platforms like Quantstamp have to come into place. That is why platforms like Hacking have to come into place. If you set aside ten million dollars, ten million dollars, ten million dollars out of the four billion dollars you raised, just to as a bug bounty, it's not too big. It's not too big. Because someone can just get hold of that hold of a network and everything is in shambles. On their web, Terrorist State then urges the team and companies in this industry to pay more attention to the security of blockchain projects as more vulnerabilities can also be found on other cryptocurrencies in the future. So these people were not even paid. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You have to consider how much has been raised. There is, it's it's not even done in the centralized world. How much did Google raise? In the centralized world, you're talking about there is series of fundies. You have series A, series B. And other series to raise four billion dollars. Four billion dollars. And have a bug. 
that was discovered come on come on this is i think cryptocurrency is becoming a joke it's becoming a joke yeah it's becoming a joke why because every person is just is just there to make money it's becoming a joke if you are raising if you are raising such an amount of money you are saying you want to build a spacecraft that will go to the moon and can you make mistakes it's rubbish okay let's say for example you are building a system that is going to monitor the heart rate of people in the hospitals you want to make a mistake in such, 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 in such a stuff it's ridiculous you, you dare not because the life of people are at stake so also the 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 assets of people are at stake let's read the english version it's on reddit for those looking for an open source official source or whether this is fake news this was posted by the official verified 360 volcan security team um you actually post okay this is the google translation of itself 360 discovery of blockchain epic vulnerabilities full control over virtual currency transactions 360 recently the vulcan team discovered a series of high risk listen not even low risk high risk security vulnerabilities in blockchain platform eos so you're raising four billion dollars you could not hire the best minds to build the stops so what is the probability that this system is going to last even in the future I think EOS is going to be an, is, is, is an attraction for hackers in the next coming months because hackers will say, wow, there's a lot of things to get in this stuff. And this remote nodes can, can directly control and take over the nodes running on EOS. The person in charge of the network said that the EOS network will not be officially launched until these issues are fixed. Defective digital blockchain vulnerability. Vulnerabilities in the traditional software domain may be exploited to initiate cyber attacks causing data privacy leaks and even the real area even the impact of real life the digital currency itself is a set of financial um systems the security loopholes in digital currency and blockchain networks tend to have more serious and direct impacts and then the the list goes on <laughs> yeah what someone is uh saying holy shit! That is f some fucking huge vulnerabilities. You know, people can just get mad. No, 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 it's it's not acceptable. <laughs> it's not acceptable. No, not acceptable. I think it's time for the community to um actually start taking things serious. Honestly, it's time to actually take. Well, people are people are raising on godly amounts of money ungodly amount of money ungodly amount of money i'm not the you saw you saw the statistics 92 percent of blockchain projects in the past eight years 92 percent of them has failed 92 they've not how many projects have raised money to say oh we're going to bank their bank how many of banks have been banked we are in a bubble we are in a bubble we are in a bubble trust me on that we are in a bubble we are in a bubble as i was um i, I think um professor uh edmund Gu uh, Gunsire, he was he when, when he when he tweeted about um the attack on veg because veg has su suffered uh 51 percent attack two times now I, I commented and I said that how many of these projects actually submit their papers for peer review? How many of them? And I also said, how many of them submit to accountability and auditability? Who who audits who audits their code? Who audits their day-to-day -day operations? Nobody's asking those questions. Listen, when you have a nation, you have a nation. And the nation, nobody calls anyone. The senators, the people in authority, they do whatever they want to do. That society is going to descend in shambles. There will be anarchy in that society. So it's time to start questioning these people. 
You have to submit the papers for peer review for crying out loud. And there has to be audit. You have to they will have to start auditing these platforms. Let's move on. Now you have all seen uh what is even happening with crypto kitties. People are being sued left and right. Um uh, we have China, China recovers 267.5 million dollars in the prosecution of multi-year one coin posing scheme. And it's it's something education, 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 education. It's all boys down to that. You say mom, make up this pattern. There is no real substance. There is no there is no business model. We have one coin, Bitconnect, uh, the billion coin, and many other coins. There is no substance, there is no business model. And look at how much has been recovered in the prosecution of them. You have MMM. These are platforms that are spread so fast. So, always get education, please. And then moving on, we have uh, cryptocurrency exchange, BitHome, to hot services in 11 countries. Listen, for any business to actually exist, it has to exist side by side with other business. It has to exist side by side with the government and it has to exist side by side with decentralized autonomous organizations. Listen, no government wants to let its people exposed to fraud or whatsoever. That is why K KYC is there. That is why AML is there. That is why anti-terrorism laws are there and all that. <laughs> so the nations that are halted, we have um, North Korea, we have Iran, Iraq, um, Ethiopia, uh, Serbia, Sri Lanka, Trinidad and Tobago, Tunisia, Vanuatu, I have not heard of that country, Yemen and Syria. 11 countries, millions of people have been taking off the market. Why is that not going to affect the cryptocurrency market? It's going to affect it. So I don't know about platforms that, that is why I like, um, Quash Liquid. Coinmetro, uh, Kasha, and many of those platforms, from, from what I've been reading about them, they have been uh, trying to seek regulations. Uh, how do we make uh, ourselves compliant? You have to be very compliant. You have to work with the government. There has to be compliance in this space. And then moving on, we have uh, the Definity airdrop. Definity is actually trying to uh, have their airdrop and they will be airdropping It will, be one, it will be one of the largest airdrop to date. Let's read this. These community members will be able to collect Definitive Tokens worth some amount between 500 and 2,500 Swiss francs. We are blown away by the community support from our uh, uh, continuous support from our community and we have used a variety of input to determine how definite tokens are to be distributed among the community including the community tenor and they will be giving out uh 25 million worth of uh 25 million swiss franc worth of definitive tokens that is a very very big one to them and the procedures on how you can actually go about those who pass uh, KYC laws uh, will be given. And Definity Project, I've not really covered it on my channel in depth, but from my research on the Definity Project, this is Blockchain 3.0. This is Blockchain 3.0. Pay attention to the Definity Project. So if you if if you are not yet in their group or subscribe to that channel, please and please go on that Twitter. <laughs> Go on that telegram because the Definitive Project, listen, it's one of the most complex projects out there. Pay attention to it. And then moving on, we have um, CyberMize. So 
So Cybermans will be rolling out their uh, set of, they call it the Cybermans Cube. So you'll be able to purchase the Cybermans Cube and uh, be part of the network. So this is the cube. And so far they've received 7,720 orders. So it will be selling out, I think tomorrow. You want to pay attention to cyber mouse. And that is that for now. Do have a very good day. Bye.